to this episode of the Hunting Gun Adventure YouTube channel. Today, we're reviewing the Winkler Knife. Winkler Knives Canton Knife, and this is how you'll receive it, or any Winkler Knife. You'll receive it in this box that says Winkler Knives, and you open it, and you get your cleaning cloth for it, and it'll say, thank you for your purchase. This tool was inspected and signed off, and then it'll give you a little backstory about them and what it's made out of. And then you take out the tissue paper and in this little plastic bag you receive your knife. So this is one of the bigger ones he makes. It's a really nice knife and we're going to be reviewing it today. So this knife is made out of ADCRV2 steel. It is a black oxide finish. Now I've used it before and oiled it so to take care of it you can see little marks on it where I've used it. But this is the dark, the dark is the oil, not the, this is the finish. So the black oxide is to prevent glare so it doesn't shine a lot and helps prevent rust. So this is a curly handle, a curly nickel with a lanyard hole, three pins, and then another lanyard hole. Back here it has jimping to provide a comfortable grip for chopping, and it has a logo in it. And then the sheath is a Kydex sheath lined with leather to prevent scratching on the knife. And back here it has two molly loops to hang on your belt, and then it easily fits in there. Then locks into place so you can't shake it out. Down at the bottom it has a place to put a leg tie to secure the knife to your leg so it don't swing around as much. And now we're going to get to testing this knife. We're going to see how good it cuts. I, I don't know how close I want to get this to my finger. So for a real quick side comparison, so this is my knife, and it is an overall of eight and three quarters inches, and this is 16 inches. So it's got a very, very tremendous difference in size and weight. So this is a dead limb here, and we're gonna down it. So now that we've got it filled, we need to process it up into smaller pieces. So now that we've delimbed it a little, we're going to see, we're going to compare it to a axe to see which one performs better in these kind of tests. So 19, then it broke. So 
now we're going to go right here and test the knife. Hundred and three chops to get through it. Now, clearly, you can see which one does better in these kinds of chopping things. But you can also see which one's smaller, and you can probably throw in a pet grid. Well, never mind, they're about the same size. But truth be told, if you had both an axe and this knife, you probably wouldn't be using the knife to do all of these tasks. But you can still see how the knife did it. How it did it with ease, and how it didn't go flying off because of that, because of the thing. Now, like these little branches, it goes through in two times. So it's better suited for maybe trailblazing or just chopping up small pieces of kindling. So now we're going to try batoning with it and we're going to chop into it. And we're going to take this other stick and baton it. Well, it actually does it really good. Just batoning. So maybe it is, so it is really good at processing kindling. What about wood carving? Without making a point. Then sharpening it. Yeah. Works real nice. So I would say, overall, the Winkler Nice Camp Knife is a really nice knife. Now it may not be made for chopping massive logs off a tree or branches off a tree that are probably six inches in diameter, but it's but it did it. Now this knife is an amazing quality. And I had a lot of fun testing it today. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.